Since Xena Warrior Princess ran for six seasons, it won't come as much of a surprise to find that the writers occasionally push their hero to some pretty dark places. The fantasy series pits Xena against all manner of monsters and villains while she attempts to atone for her violent past. Although Xena Warrior Princess was a fun, action-packed adventure, the show often took some unpleasant turns. In Season 4, for example, the villain Kalisto is released from a fiery dimension by the King of Hell, who wants to corrupt Xena back into her old ways. And from there, the whole story gets kinda dark. After Kalisto promises the King of Hell that she will corrupt Xena, the hero winds up in prison alongside her companion, Gabrielle. Kalisto had broken Xena's spine, using the iconic chakram at her back, leaving her completely powerless. And although Gabrielle fights off a cohort of Roman soldiers for a while, she eventually surrenders. Later, both she and Xena are crucified together. The actual crucifixion scene is a tough watch for audiences. It may not be gratuitously gory, but it's certainly intense. And according to Lucy Lawless, who plays Xena, it was equally tormenting to make. When discussing the series with Entertainment Weekly, Lawless explained the horrific crucifixion scene was filmed in the dead of winter in New Zealand. The actress said, It is hands down my least favorite way to die. I've been crucified several times and it's never good. The Xena star added, It's always really windy and really miserable and you're up hanging from a cross for hours. Lawless went on to reveal that it was scenes like this that had sapped all her energy by the time the series came to an end. She said, I thought it ended at the right time. I was struggling through that last year because it was relentless. It was nine months a year. I was out of gas by the end. It kicked my ass. And sure, Xena and Gabrielle's crucifixion is pretty rough going, but it's not the only time the show has pushed the envelope with its content. During an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Xena co-creator Robert Tappert revealed that the higher-ups only occasionally stepped in and asked production to tone something down. One of those times was for a scene in the season one finale, Is There a Doctor in the House? The episode finds Xena and Gabrielle bringing their friend Ephany, an Amazon warrior who is about to give birth to a centaur baby, to a healing temple in the midst of a terrible war. Ephany's sudden labor is already ill-timed, but when Xena realizes that the centaur baby is Breach, she knows she has to act swiftly and deliver the child via cesarean section. It's Breach. We'll have to cut it out. What? If she can't deliver it, the baby and she will die. Tuppert told Entertainment Weekly, We had this terribly gross cesarean birth of a baby centaur from a woman. They said the advertisers will pull out, and we did it anyways. In the end, one particular advertiser did refuse to appear alongside a realistic centaur C-section, leading to the scene having to be toned down. According to Tuppert, they said, Oh, M&M's is pulling out, and we had to recut. Of course, while crucifixions and emergency surgeries are pretty grisly, there's another infamous scene that still stokes controversy to this day. In the season 3 episode, The Bittersweet, Xena and Gabrielle's relationship is at a low ebb, after Gabrielle inadvertently causes the death of Xena's son. Under normal circumstances, the pair might have found a healthy way to resolve this conflict. However, before that could happen, God of War Ares visits Xena and encourages her to go down a path of vengeance against her friend. Influenced by Ares, Xena tracks down Gabrielle and proceeds to tie her to the back of her horse and have her violently dragged along the ground. Even compared to the show's other dark moments, this one is a doozy, not least because it's so hard to watch one of television's best pairings get torn apart so ruthlessly and so very violently. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.